IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our 16th episode. I'm Charlie Wilson. And I'm Nate Strauss. So Charlie, what are you doing for a senior project? I am making a video with Lixian and editing it on a program I've never used before. What about you? Uh, I'm going to cover myself in oil and wait for terrain. Why would you do that? Uh, because oil floats on water, silly. <laughs> Let's get on with the news. All right. May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. That's right. This month, we celebrate and pay tribute to the generations of Asian and Pacific Islanders who have enriched our country's history. We told you about our new TSA club last week, but forgot to add that our IH club had nine participants qualify for the TSA national competition, which was held virtually this year. The three teams shown in this graphic all won first place and qualified for nationals. Congratulations and good luck. Speaking of clubs, Indian Hill has a new club called the Marine Biology Club, which provides an opportunity for students to become involved in an area of science that is often overlooked in landlocked places like Ohio. This club is open to all students who want to learn more about marine biology. Meetings will be virtual and will occur monthly. If students have any questions, they may contact Natalia Beyer or Alex Sheldon. Our moot court team of Avery Valls, Gulurano Almoratova, and Ashwini Krishnan competed in the Ohio Moot Court State Championship Tournament last weekend. Our Moot Court team, the third best petitioner attorney, Gularano, the third best respondent attorney, Avery, and the first place respondent attorney, Gularano, and the best brief in the state. However, as with mock trial, we took all the hardware but somehow did not get the win. We lost to Upper Arlington in the finals. Let's check out sports reporters Dougie and Mateo for this week's sport report. Guys? Hello Braves, I'm Dougie Zeng. So today we're doing the report from our new Sports Center set. Yes we are, and I'm Mateo Lopez. So Dougie, congratulations on your exciting walk-off double last week. How about giving us some baseball details? Well, as you said, we played Franklin on Friday, which was senior day, and we pulled off an upset in the bottom of the seventh inning to win four to three. Here's a clip of this victory. Go baby! Come on, baby, score, Jake! Game-winning double, Dougie! Game-winning double! There you go, baby! Senior night, take down the number 10 team in D1! That's what I'm talking about right there! Woo! Our team followed up with a big win over Madeira this past Monday, 11-8. We play Madeira on Wednesday and Loveland at home on Thursday. And while we're on the diamond, our girls softball team finished up their season with a loss to a very strong Ross High School on Tuesday in the first round of the tournament. We are all proud of how hard you ladies worked all season and never give up. Our boys and girls track and field teams competed in the Marymount Mickey Kiwanis Invitational last Wednesday and our boys placed second. Dylan Holler and Thompson placed first in discus and second in shot put. Second place finishes by our 1600 and 3200 meter relay teams and to Jonah Waltz in the 1600 meter run. In the long jump event, Luke Folke placed second and John Potagel placed third. Our girls took the championship first place in this meet. First place finished our 800 meter, 1600 meter, and 3200 meter relay teams. Second place to our 400 meter relay team. First place finishes by Megan O'Brien in the 400 meter dash and the 200 meter run. First place also goes to Haley Withers in the 800 meter run and Mia Hack in the high jump. Annie Isferding placed second in the 400 meter dash and Maggie Overberg came in second in the 100 hurdles. Congratulations to all of our boys and girls track and field athletes. Good luck in the CHL championships this Friday. And finally, we would like to salute our senior track and field athletes. Keep moving! Our Indian Hill boys lacrosse team won big over CHCA last Friday 12-4. They lost on Saturday to Milford 6-16 and played their senior night game at home versus Anderson on Wednesday with a big victory. Good luck in the tournament with your first round game next Monday, May 17th, at home versus the winner of the Wilmington and Edgewood game. This game will be live streamed by IHTN, so if you can't attend in person, tune in on YouTube. And our girls Indian Hill lacrosse team won big over Mount Notre Dame last Wednesday 15-7. They lost on Saturday to Kentucky Country Day 5-16 and bounced back with a big win over St. Ursula Academy this past Tuesday, which was Senior Day. 
Your first round of the tournament will be at home in Tomahawk Stadium next Thursday, May 20th. IHTN will be there to live stream this game. Good luck in the tournament. Our number one ranked boys tennis team and recent CHL champs have been on a roll. They beat Cincinnati Country Day this past Monday, 4-1. to one. This was senior day for our tennis Braves. Next up is the OHSA tournament, which is being played this week. We will have updates on next week's sports report. Keep hitting those aces, boys. And we would like to congratulate Megan O'Brien for soccer and committing to Georgia Southern University at her signing ceremony this past Wednesday. Well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, guys. I like the new sports center set. Nice. Our watershed students recently presented their year-long water quality research work to the Indian Hill Village. Since in-person presentations weren't possible this year, we partnered with Braze Beat to produce a video presentation in the IHDN studio. This video was shared with Green Acres to preview, and then our students attended a Q&A session. Our students were terrific in their responses. Click the link in the description if you'd like to view their work. Way to go, Braves. This is a reminder for any of you still thinking of participating in the film camp this summer. The deadline is May 31st. There are several spots open and they're offering scholarships for those where cost is the only thing holding you back. If interested, click on the link in the description for more details. Promise Saturday. Here are a few details you need to know. Masks must be worn when not eating or drinking. Students have 30 minutes between prom and after prom to change. Usually comfortable clothes are worn after prom. Be sure to frequently sanitize and wash hands. It's at the Kenwood Country Club. The living room and terrace will be available to relax and sit while the ballroom will have the DJ and dancing. After prom will be full of games, activities, and dancing that our parents have worked very hard to put together. Let's have a fun and safe time this year. And be thankful this is even happening. Thanks to our administration and parents for making this a reality. Be sure to vote for Dougie Zane for this week's Cincinnati Enquirer and Mercy Health Baseball Player of the Week. Click on the link in the description. You can vote once a day per device until Friday at 5. National School Nurses Day was on Wednesday, May 12th. We would like to thank school nurse Mrs. Hoyer for all that she has done for us throughout the sc pandemic school year. Thanks for all of your care and attention to our everyday needs. Don't forget that next week's schedule has been changed to accommodate the underclass awards program on Friday due to testing. Monday and Friday are blocks 2, X, 4, 6. Tuesday and Thursday are still 1, 3, 5, 7. And Wednesday will be a seven period day. That schedule won't affect us seniors who will be working on our senior projects. Yeah, me too. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Yeah. Uh be sure to uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, oh, so subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay classy. Stay classy, Indio. Yeah.